Here we go, guys. Small. Looks like these guys are straight up. All right, guys, welcome to the Leaky Jumbo Company. Today, we're just going to be throwing Ned Rigs. I've been fishing this creek all summer long, throwing all different kinds of stuff. Ned Rigs did pretty freaking good compared to everything else. So today, we're just throwing Ned Rigs. I got some longer Senkos. I got some smaller Neds. Most of this stuff is Z-Man, but I got some Gary Yamamoto Senkos too. So we're just going to see what happens, guys, and I'll show you kind of exactly what I'm fishing and exactly where I'm throwing and the, uh, the conditions of the water and stuff like that because... It's just kind of a little learning experience for me too, but I can definitely show you guys some little tips and tricks. So let's get into it and see what happens. All right, guys. Today we are fishing a little bit longer Senko. I cut the top off. This is like a Yamamoto Senko with the Z-Man head. And this is a bigger like uh, Ned Rig head than you would normally use with the Z-Man style, uh, like the shorter Senkos. We'll get into those later today, but for our line, we are using 10 pound fluorocarbon. And then about three feet up, I have a little 14 size barrel swivel connected to my 10 pound braid. And I can just throw this thing anywhere I want. It's super strong, super lightweight. And it just lets me cast literally a mile. So it's super awesome and it's super sensitive too and definitely strong enough for most of these fish in here. I shouldn't have a problem breaking this braid off on anything. This fish like picked it up and I didn't feel it. It was just swimming straight towards me. There we go, guys. First fish of the morning. And there's a feisty little smallmouth. I can't believe that little guy picked that bait up and it was just like swimming straight for me and I didn't even realize what was happening. There we go guys, second cast in a row. And he almost did the same thing. We gotta keep him out of the cover. He's a little bit bigger. There we go guys, smallie number two. And it looks like these guys are right up in the front of the hole. There we go. It seems that these fish are right up in this hole, right past these riffles. That's two in a row. So we're going to try that again. I casted probably ten times over here to the right without a bite. And now... It just seems like there's fish all over. All right, guys, we're gonna try the front of this pool right here. Well, the back of the pool, we're gonna try it on the left side of the ripples, just to see if the fish are just kinda of in the shallow water. I'm gonna try to keep my bait right up here in the line of sight. But then after that, I'm gonna cast a little bit more to the left kind of in the deeper water. I have not been able to find any good fish in the regular spots, like in the deep portions, you know, that I know of, which I find very interesting. And now I'm actually stuck. So we're gonna ruin this spot. Back up a little bit. 
I'm going to try that again. I'm going to cast off to the left a little bit. Kind of right in the spot where you can't see the bottom. Just to see if those fish are kind of hiding. There we go, guys. That's kind of right where I expect them to be. Right off the uh, the visual point. And that's just a little guy. But he had a big appetite. He hit pretty freaking good. That's Smalley number three. And he is the first fish on the left side of these rocks right here. We're going to try this again. But no fish in the deeper sections of the pool. Like I was fishing the middle of these pools. Kind of like up there in the, by the bridge. And then I was kind of fishing down there a little bit. And there's just no bites. I'm only finding fish right here where the water gets all shallow. I don't know if it's because it's shallower right here or if it's just because it's by the cover. All right, guys, we are going to try the Z-Man Finesse TRD. That's what it's called. This one's Hot Snakes Color. And it's just a little tiny Senko version of what I was throwing earlier. And I believe this head is a Z-Man also. So we're going to stick it on there. I don't know which side goes on right. This side probably goes up. And the material... It's a little bit different. It's kind of like, it's definitely squishier. It seems like it's stronger too. A little bit more bite resistant, but there we go guys. That is what we're gonna be using the rest of the day. I got a couple different colors of this uh, Z-Man. And we're gonna try this out. And we're gonna fish the fronts and the backs of this hole right here. We're gonna fish here. And we're also gonna try up there that's just kind of where I've been catching the fish this morning. So we're going to try that out. And we are going to see if we can get into some more fish. There we go, guys. Ooh. And he got off. That was my first fish on the uh, Z-Man. And I don't know if I just didn't set the hook good enough. Or what. It felt like a good solid hook set. We're gonna try that again. And again, guys, we're right by the, uh, right back at the end of the hole. And we're gonna go down on the other side there in a second. Just had a little hit. Like I was saying, we're gonna go down on the other side, oh, there's a beaver. I don't know if you guys saw that. I'm gonna get my line out of the way. But there's a beaver coming up the creek right now. He is right there. He's underwater. And we're gonna let him kind of go before we cast in there because I do not want to hook a beaver today. I don't know where he's gonna go. So we're gonna go down on the other side where there's no beaver because that does not sound like fun trying to pull a one quarter ounce Ned rig out of a beaver. I just cast it into this guys and as soon as it hit the water I got a nice little rock bass. First little rock bass of the day. The first landed fish on the Z-Man. We're going to try this again. This is a really nice hole, guys, because it's got all this cover right here. It's all right by the front of this hole. So there's all the current, all the cover. It's kind of deep. There we go. Fish number two, guys. And that is a little tiny smallmouth bass on the Z-Man. 
and he is really freaking small. Throw him back in. And the Z-Man is working pretty good. Two fish on the Z-Man, two fish on the Yamamoto. I just set the hook on this rock bass, guys. And he was right next to me when I set the hook. And I just plopped him right out of the water. Turned my camera on at the same time. And he's got a little bit of black on him. That's pretty cool. You don't see that super often around me. I see it on Facebook and stuff like that all the time, guys. But that little guy has just got some really cool little colors on him. We're going to get a couple of pictures of him. Here we go, guys. No smally. And he is also a little guy. Not much for the big fish today, guys. I don't know if the big fish are sitting on beds, hiding in the deeper water. I'm not really sure. But definitely get my fill of uh, small fish, which is still fun in the creeks especially. Can't really expect a bunch of giant fish in these little creeks, so... All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. Not a lot of huge fish, just a couple small ones on the Ned Rigs, but still a good day of fishing. And remember, guys, if you guys like this video, like the video on here, subscribe to the channel, go on to leakyjohnboatcompany.com, and you guys can find all sorts of performance shirts like this one. They're like the long sleeve, super lightweight polyester shirts, and I love them for fishing. Kind of keeps the bugs off. And I have this uh, neck guard right here, neck gator. And I'm using it today as like a bug guard so the mosquitoes don't bite me on the back of the neck because that is just annoying. But you guys know what they are. They say leaky on them. There's a couple different ones. They're used for uh, sunshades and you can put them over your face. You can put them over your head. You can do all sorts of fun stuff with them. And then I got the uh, performance hat on right now. This is the leaky one. There's a couple different ones on there. I like the Bigfoot one a lot, guys. And these are super lightweight hats. I mean, they weigh nothing and they're awesome for fishing. They're kind of like the Yupong, but they're just really, really lightweight. And they're kind of mendable like you can't really mess them up so they're super awesome guys go on there www.theleakyjohnboatcompany.com and you can find all that stuff and some t-shirts and some hoodies guys remember guys like the video subscribe to the channel thanks i just set the hook on this rock bass guys right next to me i set the hook i just plopped it right out of the water turned my camera on